All right, today is June 15th, 2022. It is day 331 of um, web development. And today I'm basically going to do what I did yesterday, but I'm going to do what I did yesterday, which is day 330 over here, which is kind of like a modal. But I'm going to do something like day 320 where I have cards. And then when I click on one of those buttons, like add to cart, that modal is gonna pop up. So that's what I'm attempting to do today. Hopefully it works out, okay? If not, then we'll do a two part of this and try to figure out things as we go. So I'm going to do HTML5, um, right, to tell this program that I'm writing in HTML5. So I'm going to do my HTML tags. Then I'm going to do my head tags, which are used to like put in links to other files or fonts or whatever. Um, then my body tags is basically what everything inside or on the screen is going to appear like everything in the body tag is going to appear on the screen on the white side over here on the left side of the screen um okay so the first thing i always do is i always start with a container um i'm gonna use um, i'm gonna label it as um by giving it a class of container all right and then i'll go to css here and to target um css is cascading style sheets used to style html um, so to target the container, I use dot notation for classes. Um, we use hashtags for IDs, um, but we're going to give it a class of container, and I'm going to give it a border, which is a property, and the values that I'm going to give it um, is five pixels. So a five pixel black solid border is what I want. And notice that there's no height, so we want to give it a height. And for now, I always start by giving it a height of 100 vertical height of the screen, 100 of the vertical height of the screen. All right, and then I'm going to go back here, and in here I'm going to do like um, another class. I'm going to do like a grid, right? So this is going to be, um, think of like divs as boxes, so I'm just making it in boxes. I'm going to make another box or container. It's going to be called grid, and I'll go here and give that a border as well. Give it a border of five pixels, let's say blue, solid. That's not how you spell solid. All right, and then it should pop up there. Should give it a height um, of 100 VH as well. <coughs> All right, and then in the grid, I want some three cards just like I have here in day 320. Um, so I'll do div and I'll give it a class of card. And I'll kind of just repeat that. So actually, you know what, I'll kind of finish it. So the first card, um, let me actually go over here. Um, card, also give it a border. The five pixels black solid and probably a height of um, 400 pixels. All right, and then what I'll do is um, I'll go here. So the first thing that I have is a, um, it's kind of like a, well, I don't know, do I want to do that, or, yeah, I'll do that. So, I have, like, um, another container, so, like, card content, I'm going to call it, and in this card content, I'm going to do an H1 for, like, the name of something, so, I don't know what kind of website I'm going to do, I'm just going to wing it, I always wing it, I'm going to do, like, Paragraph, lorem, tab, and then a button. Um, I don't know what type of website I want to do, so I don't know what name I'm going to give it. Maybe it's going to be like an item, like we're going to do add to cart, or like a, I don't know, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um, I'm going to call this button for now. Alright, so that's what we have so far, and I'll also give the card content a border as well. All right, at this point, what I'll do is um, I'll take this card and I'll also give it a, an ID of card one so that I can individually target it if I, if I want to. And I'll just kind of click on the card and kind of see where it ends, which is over here. And just copy that two more times. So let me put some space here. So one and then another time and then i'll change the id to be three and two so now we have three cards okay 
Now notice that the container, which is like the out your outermost border, is stops right about here, like where the blue stops. And so um, that's why I said that we're going to set it to 100 um, VH for now, because now we have to do minimum height. So it's going to go the minimum height of the um, of the content. Um, and then we should probably do the same for the actual grid. There we go. Um, so now I also want it to be like a grid, right? So in grid, right, I'm going to give it a display. I actually want to do this after the border, so it's easy for me to delete later. So display, and I'm going to give it a display of grid. And with grid, you actually have to specify how many columns you want in your grid. So I'm going to do grid template columns and say I want, let's say, um, three columns. So we'll do one FR, one FR, one FR, right? So that is going to um separate um the grid right into three equally spaced columns or another equivalent way to do this is if i just use repeat um and then i do three times one of r and that would be the same thing if i could actually spell the word repeat and then it would be the same thing okay and then to add some space between the cards i will do a grid gap of one em it's just um a unit of measurement one em you could always use pixels like say um, 16 pixels, I believe, is the equivalent. Yeah, 16 pixels is the equivalent, so 20 pixels, would there would be more space between, right? Um, so 1 EM is equivalent to 16 pixels. Um, Alright, and then this is what we have so far. <clears throat> so the card itself, or the card content, let's see, I want each card to have a certain background, so I'll go here to target each card, and I'll do hashtag card one and i'll do actually you know what actually yeah no i want for now i just want them all to have the same background just so it can look aesthetic so i'll do background url and i'm going to go to unsplash to pick a picture <clears throat> and let's see if i can actually find something that's good well obviously unsplash is great but like something that fits what i'm trying to go for today um i need portrait but i can't Let's see. Maybe this. Right click, copy image address, paste that in there. Um, <coughs> I would probably um, give it a background size of cover. So that it covers the entire container, so that's nicer. Um, the card content, I would give that a background of, um, let's say, e e e e e e for now, kind of like a white. And then what I would do is, I would move it down. So I'm trying to think. Um, I could always position it relative to the card, and then from the top, maybe maybe move down 25%. Or 40%. Okay, that works. Um, I would also like the um, card itself to have a border radius of 20 pixels because I want there to be um, the border of it to be round. So I'll do border radius of 20 pixels. So you'll see that happening. And then I'll do the same thing for the actually, yeah, I'll do the same thing for the card content. Um, or should I? I don't know. Um, let's see. Alright, so, interesting, it shouldn't be overflowing, so how can we fix that? Card content, height, min content? I'm not gonna do anything. Max content is gonna be crazy. Oh, I know how to fix it. Oh, first of all, I didn't even spell it right. Um, the card has to have a height of min content. There we go. So now it would stretch completely, right? Oh, great. That's amazing. Um, max content. Min content. Like min content is not gonna work because that only the only content there. Oh, you know what I could do though? Maybe I could do like a margin, um, margin top of 
100%. Mm. No, because then when I set the visibility to zero, it's going to just disappear. So that's not going to work out. Um, let me think. I could always... Um, Um, let's see. Set the position to absolute. Have it be because it's hidden. Um, what did I do again? Where's the top? Okay. Um, actually, I don't want to delete that. How should I fix this? I can make a container called card content. No, because that's that's what it is. Um, let me see what I did over here. Day three thirty. Mm -hmm. Look at my HTML. So I have a card. I have a card content. Right. It's the same thing. <laughs> like, what? I have a grid container. Um, I have a grid container, container, card, card content. I literally have the exact same thing. Except that the button is a div, but that doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, so, it must be my CSS. Um, I got that. Um, oh, I gave it a certain height. Oh, maybe I should just copy the same thing. Card content, position relative, top 56%. Okay, let me copy that. So I gave the card a certain height. That way, it would kind of fit everything. Even though, yeah, okay, I already have this though. Alright, so I guess that works out. Only thing is, um... It's out of, Jesus Christ, it's out of the, um, if I do this, it's not staying within the borders. And so what I'll have to do is I'll have to have the grid have a, um, a width of min content. So now it applies to the border and then I'll have to do the same thing here, width of min content now it's good all right um so we'll work with these two so what else am i doing again um i think i had it up there to be 56 percent. there we go um we could do something that's like 52 54 55 man i don't know well okay that works um all right and so that works what did I what color did I give it I gave it like a overlay all right so I guess I could do that I could give the background of the card to have not the card excuse me the card content instead of having it background like that I could just give it a linear gradient of zero point no 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 RGB a 0.77 no, it's 0 0.7. I forgot. 0 0.77, 0 0.77, 0 0.77, 0 0.77, 0 0.7. And then... Comma that again. There we go. But I think that's too dark. So maybe it's 0 0.7... No, that literally did absolutely nothing. Isn't that too dark, though? Um, I'm not even sure, honestly. It's okay. It's okay. Um, and so then for the card content, so we could actually see the content, I'll change the color of everything to white, and I think they'll do everything but the link because I have to target the link individually. All right. Um, what else was I gonna do? Okay, let's kind of set things up. So that I can open it. What am I doing? Debug mode. Alright, so I'm going to center it in the middle. So the way I'm going to do this. Oh, you know what I should have done? 
Huh. Interesting. Um, there, re there really wasn't a need to do two borders. I mean, two, like a container and a grid. Whatever. Anyway, I'll just give this, um, I'll give the body a display of flex and I'll say justify content center and that would align it horizontally and then align items center and that's going to align it vertically so that should be in the middle there and then I'll do um, for the container right and so then I'll take the container and I'll give it a padding of let's say 50 pixels so that that's that's what's happening here and then I'll probably give the grid um, a background of something like um, D3, D3, D3. For now, it's kind of like a gray. And then I'll also give it a padding of, let's say, 20 pixels and just run that. And you can kind of see that that's what's going to happen. And I'll also probably give it a border radius so that it matches everything of uh, 20 pixels, just like everything else has a border radius of 20 pixels. All right, and then at this point, I want, um, let's see, um, I'll start with the card content. So I'll give the card content some padding so that it's not all the way to the left. So maybe 10 pixels padding. Okay, that's good. Um, probably move it a little bit. Whoa, okay. I'll probably not move it until I'm done with the card content because things change. Um, so let's see. Um, the button I should focus on. So the button, I said, I'm going to give it a certain ID. So I'm going to give it an ID, or actually I'll give it a class of button, or BTN. Um, and then I'll give it an ID of um, add to cart. No, just, just add. And then I'll actually change what it says. We'll say add to cart. All right, so then we have that, and then I'll go here, and I'll do dot btn, and then I'll give it a background of um, white for now. Um, I'll give it a padding of 10 pixels, right? Um, then I'll do dot, actually, I could do text decoration none because it's the same link so it should remove that line and change the color to something like black for now and then probably give this a border radius of 10 pixels and then probably um give some margin top of five pixels and some space between um mm, actually maybe do 10 pixels so the space between the paragraph and the button but that's not working out so that's great maybe it's because it's y'all just do the paragraph then i'll do card content p and i'll just do margin bottom of 10 pixels instead and it should get the same effect that i wanted it to have 20 pixels there we go i think that was just literally the same thing whatever anyway um, I think that's good. And then maybe when I do BTN hover, I'll change the color to be a darker color. So it would be like E, E, no, 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 D3, D3, D3. What the? All right. So when I hover over it, it should change to a darker color. Um, and then that should be good. And then I'll take the card content and move it a little bit up, maybe 50% or maybe probably 52. Oh, that's actually really good. Alright, um, and then I'll make sure that I go here and give these to the rest of the um, A-links here so that they all come with it. There we go. Um, oops, I forgot to say add to cart. And then add to cart. Alright. Save that, run it, and then look at that. 
All right, so at this point we do the overlay. So the overlay is where I basically set the card content, um, the visibility um, equal to hidden. And then what happens is that when I hover over, it's gonna disappear, right? So when I hover over the card, um, I need the card content to have visibility of visible. So that let's run that and see if it works. See, it works. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean this up a little bit and remove the um, border of the card content. So it's a little bit nicer. Probably put it a little bit more down, so maybe 52%. Eh, I don't like it, 51%. Alright, I think that works. Um, and then, this also works, right? And then, only thing is now, I'm going to apply the modal. So when I click on Add to Cart, a modal should pop up. And so, with that, I'm going to go to my HTML, and I'm just going to figure out where my stuff is here. So inside the container, it doesn't even matter, honestly. I'll just put it out here for a second. I'll do div and I'll give it a class called modal. And um, in the modal, it's just going to be like a simple box with like, let's say, you know what I should have done? Um, I think I'm just gonna copy my code from, from yesterday because it's exactly what I need. Actually, you know what? No, that's a bad idea. Copying code is really bad because then you don't know. It's like different names. Yeah, no, never mind. Um, so just so we can see what everything is. Modal. So I'll give it a quarter. Five pixels. Black. Solid. Um, and then I should hit it with a height of 100. No, just like something simple like 400 pixels. That's not 400 pixels. What the heck? Alright, so it's there. Probably give it a width of 400 pixels for now. Um, so you'll see it on the side. So I don't want it on the side. I want it to have a position absolute so it's as if there's literally nothing on the page. Right, there we go. And then probably give it a width of maybe 600 pixels instead of that. And then I'll give it a background. Um, of let's say, uh, I'll just do D3, D3, D3 for now, because it's kind of like a gray, right, so we have that, I'll give it a border radius of 20 pixels, alright, and I'll just do, um, inside the modal, I'll do like, div, and I'll give it a class image, And then I'll do div class and I'll do um, modal content. And then I'll do kind of the same thing. I'll do like an h1. I'll probably do item name. I'm probably going to change the background picture of the cherries to something like materialistic. And then I'll also do an href and give it like a button or I'm just going to say bye um, and then that's what's going to happen there and I'll probably give the modal now I'll actually go here and find an image and I'll give it a background and I'll go to unsplash and find an image and I'll unpause when I find an image <coughs>
Alright, only problem is now that for the middle one, it doesn't take the full size of the card. And I don't know if that's because um, the card background size is shade apply to card two right and I should fill the entire background but it's not doing that oh no it is okay oh okay so sometimes it turns out that oh maybe that's why I wasn't working with the other ones um for some reason when I do this sometimes when I apply like a general property to the card it doesn't actually apply so I'm gonna have to research as to why that is but it's fine so far um now moving on to when I click on add to cart, the modal should pop up. So I think I already wrote it right, I just have to uncomment it. So it should pop up here. Alright, um, in this case, um, I did say I was going to do an image, I was going to try to find an image. Um, so it's going to be basically one of the same images. So, oh, but then it's going to be three different modals. We could do, we could just finish it together. Um, Ooh, this is a problem. First of all, the modal, what did I do? Class modal? All right, one second. I'm gonna have to give this a Z index of one while, um, see now it's fixed. Okay, good. Um, so for the image, it's gonna be one of these. So for now, it's gonna have to be like, I'm gonna have to do three different models, but um, let's say I click on the one in the middle. I don't really want to click on the one in the middle. I'm gonna do the first card. So, what I'll do is I'll go card one and I'll just copy this background and change it so it's the same image here. Um, and then I should probably give it a height for now of let's say 100 pixels and a width of 100 pixels. Um, and probably background size of cover so that it takes the full size of its container. Um, and then probably background position of center so we could actually see the whole thing. Right. Okay, um, now the modal itself, I believe, called it modal right. So I need that to have a display of grids because I need it to have to be right like next to each other, both the image and um, the modal content. So I'll do 1FR, 1FR, and then that should also be the same thing as repeat two times 1FR. Um, so let me write that down, repeat two times 1FR. That's just separating the modal into two equally spaced columns. All right, now notice that it's not quite nice. So to fix that, I'll actually, um, probably should put things in the center. So for the image itself, probably should have a display of flex. And then I should probably justify justify content in the center and then align items in the center. Which is not even working, that's great. Okay, um, but you know, we will do that as if I go to the modal content. The modal, is that what I called it? Modal content? Oh no. Okay, display flex. Let's see if that's gonna work out. Justify content center. That, um, since centers it horizontally and then align items center centers it vertically and then we can change the flux direction because so far or like as of now it's out in row we can set it to column so that they're all on top of each other um and then instead of align we could delete that because we don't want it to be at the middle um so that's good for now the image though maybe we could yeah that's what i wanted um and then, is it possible to have a grid gap here at the modal so that there's space between each of the grid items? Yes. And then, possibly, um, have like um, an X. Where's my X? I've always, let me just copy 
the code that I have for my X over here. All right, just one second. I just have to find it. Um, here it is, my little X. All right, put that in here somewhere. So I'll probably put that inside. Um, should probably just put it in the modal. All right, and then the X itself, because I'm pretty sure I gave it an ID of X, right? I'm going to give it a position of absolute. And then from, um, I'll probably give it a width of 25 pixels and a height of 25 pixels. And let's see, um, that's not working, so I'll probably have to do X image and do that. And then the X itself, I'll do from the left probably um, 70, 80 percent. Let's see what that looks like. Um, we could do 90 percent, um, 95 percent, and then maybe from the top we can do 20 pixels. No. 10 pixels. Okay, and then maybe 93 percent. Okay, that looks good. Okay, save that, reload. All right, that's looking good. Um, all right, and then let's see. Um, for the button, we could do, what did I call it? I called it, um, did I have a button? I have add to cart, right? So what did I give it a class? Class button. So I'll give the button a class. BTN, so the same styles um, that from add to car is going to apply here. All right, and then what to do? What to do? Um, I didn't want to leave it like that. And then maybe um, I'll give it an ID of. Um, BTN1, right, button 1, and then I'll go here and I'll be like BTN1 and probably set the width to be 20%, um, text align center to make the text into the center, and then, oops, that's a problem, it's the same color, that's an issue, so you know what, maybe I'll kind of override, what did I just do? <gasps> What did I do? Excuse me. Excuse me. Rude. All right, I'll overwrite and be like BTN one when hovered. The background can change to like another color, like maybe um this color right here, the pink color. So let me copy that, paste that in there. And that should work out like that. Okay. Um, Alright, that's good. Now when I click on the X, right, so when the X is targeted, I need the modal to have a visibility of hidden. But the modal itself already has to have a visibility of hidden. until um, this button over here at the left is targeted. So I have to find that button in card one, which is this one. So class button ID add one. So when add one is targeted, right, is that what it is? Yeah. Um, then the visibility of the modal becomes visible. I have to specify. It's not popping up. So 
let's fix what we could fix here. So when add one, um, add one ID, wait, the modal, I have to give it a certain ID, hold on. Alright, um, Let me think. Okay. When I target the X, the visibility of the modal is hidden, right? So when I target the X, it should disappear. But then when I target this add button here, I need the modal, the modal to become visible. Visible. Visibility. Visible. Hmm. Right, and this is, um, add one. Interesting. Visibility visible. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to figure this out because I'm not leaving until I fix this. So, um, we have this class. It's button and ID. Add, I just want to turn it back to add one. So when that's targeted, I need the modal to become visible. Um, but that's not happening. Why? Um, let's see. Where is my modal? Modal, modal, visibility hidden, C index one. Um, the image, modal content, the X, the image, the button, button hover, target. This is the problem here. What is supposed to take me to the modal? Right, so if I... Oh! Uh, why do I do this to myself? I was supposed to do this. Where is it? Hold on, let's see if this... Well, that was one thing I forgot, but not the solution. So, what I did forget was that this add one should lead me to the modal, right? When I target it, ID add one. So, maybe I don't need this. No. What do I have here? Oh, I don't think I did it here. Hold on. What day did I do it? Quick buy. Right? I had it to the modal. And the modal had an ID of modal and a class of card, whatever. Um, and then my CSS. Um, X target. Modal target. Oh, when the modal is targeted, like, what's wrong with me, like, actually? Alright, so when this is targeted, then the modal class visibility becomes visible. You're kidding me, bro. Oh, the patience that I need to have. Okay. Like, should it be different? No, because it's supposed to be that way. Hmm. 
What the? Alright, um. It's supposed to be hashtag modal because it's supposed to go above. You know what? It doesn't even matter. Um, this is an ID modal, so maybe we'll do capital question mark. Um, this is for this href. We don't really need this. Um, so that's what happens when I click add to cart. And then when the hashtag modal is targeted, the modal itself, the visibility becomes visible. Wow, that happened. So I'm not understanding why it's not becoming visible. Oh my god, really? This is a joke. How about I go to the body and I set the Z index? Maybe it's showing up, but not here. Nope. Still not there. Um. Just let me start getting rid of the container border, the grid border, the card border, and probably start putting some more padding on the grid. Alright, so it's looking like that. Um. Why does it look like that though? Margin, 50 pixels. Uh, what? Why is it like that? That's so weird. That's the container, isn't it? Nope. Nope, actually it's not the container. It's literally what's going on with this thing. <sighs> That's really weird. There's something off about it. I don't even know. give the container a display of flex and we'll do justify content, content center align item center and run that it's working but it's also not working because like what the heck it's supposed to be not like that question mark what's going on this is irritating maybe i don't need a container how about that maybe i just need um Where is the container? I literally want to know what's going on because I don't know what's going on. Grid. Margin 50 pixels. Are, are you kidding me? I kid you not, I have no idea what's going on right now. Um, 100 pixels. Alright, when in doubt, you write it out. Okay, so we're going to go to code pen, and I'm going to basically just restart this, like, literally really quickly. Um, I'll just, like, basically copy and paste until, not copy and paste, but, like, rewrite until I figure out what the problem is. Like I did yesterday, I don't even know what day it was yesterday, I don't remember. Um, I think it was the day before, I don't even know. I generally don't know. Um, alright, so... What did I have? So I'll do dark type HTML, 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 head. That's not how you do a head tag. Head. Then I'll do the body. Then I'll do the body. Then inside the body, I'll do a div class container. And I'll do inside the container 
I'll do div class grid. This time I'll just do two cards because girl wants out of here right now. Inside the card there is going to be a card content box. Inside the card content there's going to be an H1 item and then there's going to be a paragraph lorem tab and then there's going to be a button um, which is just a link i'm going to call it um add to cart right all right and then i'll give this card an id of card one and I'll just copy it. Try to figure out where it ends, which is over here, so I'll go here. And then paste that in there and change it to part two. Now for CSS, I'll go and target my container. Okay, give it a border. Five pixels. Black, solid. You know what? Instead of a container, I don't really need a container. I could just not that I don't need a container, I don't need a grid get rid of that right that's all I have right and then I'll go to the body and give it a display um, a flex justify content center align items center um, probably give the container a margin of 50 pixels um, and a border radius of 20 pixels and um, a background of D3, D3, D3. Actually, that's supposed to be the body. This is supposed to be E, 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 E. All right, so we'll leave that there for now. And then it's going to have a display of grid um, we'll do grid template, columns, repeat two times one of R for two equally spaced columns in that container. Um, so I should fix things up there. Um, a grid gap of 1 EM. And then the card themselves can have a border of 5 pixels, black solid um and then we'll have the container have some padding of maybe 50 pixels all right the height of the cards need to be a certain height so maybe 400 pixels um and then they also need to have a border radius of 20 pixels and then card one Right, it's going to have a background URL of whatever I find here. Nope. Nope. Where is it? It's this one. So, copy image address, paste it in there, give it a background size of cover. Right, so that's that's that background position um, center. Right, and then we could do where's my stuff? This one. Right click, copy image address. Um, just paste that in there. Then paste, copy this, paste this one. Change to part two. Copy this link, delete the link, just paste that there, make sure that there's no syntax errors. Okay, now, um, let's see. Alright, and so here there's a problem, it's not that responsive, so the card has to have a height of minimum content. Alright, there we go. Um, that's the only thing though. That's the probably that should be like the minimum height 
but I want to say that the height should be 400 pixels, right? But that would be the minimum height. Really? The height, the max height? And that's not even working. Or maybe that only works with lift. <sighs> Whatever. Um only thing is the card content, right? Let's do order five pixels blue solid. Um I do need that to have a margin of literally 50% of margin top though. Not margin top, I need it to be not margin top, more like relative to. It should probably have a background. I'll do G3, T3. T3, T3. Um, actually no, I was gonna do a linear gradient. Um, again, RGBA, 0 0.77, 0 0.77, 0 0.77, 0 0.7, and then just copy that again to the next color, and with a semicolon, that should appear, kind of like a transparent. Um, alright, everything in here should be white, and then we can do card content A. And then the color should also be white. The background should probably be something like D3, D3, D3. Um, border radius, 20 pixels. Um, actually, then it's not white. Let's leave it as black. Um, and then text decoration, none. Um, and then also padding 10 pixels. All right, and then we'll do that. Oops. And then I'll do dot card content P for paragraph, and I'll do margin bottom, probably five pixels. Ew, 15 pixels. 20. Ew. All right, and then hopefully this works. No, never works. All right, card content, probably give it a patty as you as you. Okay, there we go. Save that. Debug mode. That's so ugly. All right. Um. Probably give the card a height of six hundred pixels, and that'll just solve the problem. Um. And then the margin um, from the top fifty percent, or probably now eighty percent or seventy percent. 100%? Forgot, probably should give it a border radius of 20 pixels also. That sucks. Um, 60%, let's see what that looks like. It's not even, I don't even want it to be like that. How about I also give it a width? Um, for each card, I also give it a width, um, if I could actually find the card. Mm, yep, this is perfect. All right, and then now I can kind of figure out where things are gonna go.
Alright, um, probably 87. Um, okay. And then when I hover over card content A, hover, I need the background color to be a little darker. So, I'll just do gray for now, I don't really care. Um, and then I'll change the color. No, actually, I don't really care enough. Um, okay. Now, I'm going to remove the border of the card content. Alright, and then that probably should go 88% now. 89. Alright, and then I'll remove the border of the card. Looks something like that. Now, um, I'll do the card content, alright, and I'll set the visibility to hidden. Alright, and then when I hover over the card, right, so we'll do dot card, hover, then we can set the visibility to visible, um, but I'll do basically um, the card content, there we go, so that's happening, alright, so that's what's happening here, alright, um, and then at this point when I click on add to cart um let's see when I click on add to cart I need it to go to the modal um actually I'll just do I'll just leave it as this um I need this one to go to the modal so this first one and so we'll do the modal up here so we'll do div class modal and inside the modal I'll do right a div class image container um, which is going to store my image and then I'll do div class modal content which is going to store my content and then this one's going to be item right um, little paragraph form that is not how you spell form alright and then another link so I'll do href and then do something like that and then call it like um by right something like that I'll go down here to the CSS and then I'll do dot modal it's a class position it absolute Alright, so that's up here, we can actually see it. Probably give it a border of 5 pixels, black solid for now, so we can see that. Give it a background of um, D3, D3, D3. Um, border radius of 20 pixels, probably give it a width of 400 pixels. Save that, reload, that's horrible. Okay, let's do 800 pixels. That's also horrible. Let's do 500 pixels. That's literally disgusting. What is that? Okay. Save 500. Okay. Um, give everything a padding of probably 20 pixels. Alright, save that. Okay, and then I'll add in my image. So I'll do um, dot image container and then that's going to be the same as my card one. Right, and so the modal itself is going to have to have a display of grid so that it's going to work um, things out. Grid, template, columns, one of R, one of R, so two columns. And then you should appear there. Um, probably give the image a border radius also. I don't necessarily have to specify within height because grid sometimes does that for me mostly. Um, not the modal, the um, image container. Alright, and then probably go to the modal, right, and give it a grid gap of 1 EM, so there's space between both things. Um, 
and then I'll go to the card content. Alright, um, not the card content, the modal content. And um, the modal content, content A actually. So I want to give it a background of um, D3, 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 um, border radius. Of 20 pixels um, it's literally not happening so what's going on here modal code content did I spell it wrong? weird weird huh what did I do now what if I give it an ID of um bye oh it's because it's the same color as a oh, Jesus Christ why am I like this because it's the same color as a thing, so I duh. So we'll do like um this blue here. Copy that, change it to this color, and then that should pop up, and then give it a padding of maybe 10 pixels, and then give it a width of probably 20%. And then text decoration, I think I already did that, but I accidentally deleted it of none. Um, color black? White? I don't know, bro. Um, how about with 30? 40%? It's not changing, so we're gonna have to set it to 80 pixels. It's literally not changing. Okay, that's great. That's so ugly. Oh, you know what I could do? It's top down. It's, um, what is it called again? It's top down. Top and right. No, I'm so confused. Hold on, it's like a clock. So it's, um, it's top and bottom, left and right. There we go. Okay, fix that. Um, see that. Let me see what it looks like here. All right, um, probably get rid of the border of the modal, so we don't need that anymore. Um, save that, reload. Okay. Um, here's the thing, though. Um, I need the modal content to probably have a margin. Let me try something margin top of negative two pixels 20 pixels there we go um or maybe i just needed to have more padding Meh. i don't even know at this point all right um what was i gonna do again i forgot oh the x how many times do I have to do the X for? So irritating. Um, where's the X? Okay, go here in my HTML and put it somewhere. I don't even know, don't care. Um, I'm just gonna put it out here. And I'll do the X and I'll give it a position absolute. And then from, and I'll give it a, well, I'll do x image and then i'll do width probably 25 pixels height 25 pixels um from the left 80 percent oh, great so maybe instead of putting it all the way down here i could do myself a favor and put it actually inside the model there we go, and then from the left, 
Let me see what that looks like here. So we could do 95%. And then a little bit from the top, maybe 5 pixels. No, why not? I, no, 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 just, no, what the heck? I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, from the left, probably 93. Okay, and then maybe... Maybe 8 pixels from the top. Okay, that's good. Um, alright, that's good. Alright, so... Let me see. Um, so when I click on... Alright, so when the X is targeted um the visibility comes hidden of the modem really great <sighs> did i not call it an x oh it's probably because because I need to give it a z-index. No, that doesn't make sense because it should have a z-index of one already. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Um, hmm. You know what? One second. Modal content. Over. It should probably be a darker shade. Just do something like blue. That work. That's such an ugly color. Alright, let me go to colors. Five flowers. I don't even have anything else open. Probably this. I should probably just do that. <sighs> mm, okay. Change this to this. Use the shader. Take a darker color, such as that. Go back here. Where's my code? Put that in there. Make sure it's a hashtag. And then it should change. There we go. Okay, great. Um, all right. Um, when I target the X, the modal, right, visibility should be set to hidden. Um, but that's not happening. So what's the issue? Um, the modal itself, the visibility. Should be set to hidden. Are you getting? What is going on? I literally just told it to hide itself. Like, what? What are you doing right now? Um. Bloody, really? Visibility. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna well I haven't done that yet. So let's see. When I click on the first add to cart, um, which is over here, it needs to go to the modal. So um it should go there. So when I target the or maybe when this well um, it's gonna go to the hashtag modal, so I need to make this an ID and give it modal. So when that's targeted, then the visibility all becomes visible because it's already the same thing. 
There we go. There we go. Finally. Like, what the heck? Okay, so let me see if I can fix the other one. Um, the problem with this one was that I... This is literally the same thing. Let me see now. No, I have no idea what the problem with this one is. Let's, I don't even know. It's probably a mistake that I did early on. That, like, I don't even know what I did. Alright, I'm just going to close it out. Don't care too much about it. Um, close this one out. Close this out. Close this out. You can get the sources on um, the actual code. Alright, so this is what we have so far. I think it looks way prettier than the other one. Um, although for this one, I didn't do a model for this one. So we can actually do that right now. Um... So I'll do, I'll try to see which one, where it ends. I'll do this, right? And then I'll just, actually, that's going to mess things up. <laughs> I'll do modal 2, modal 2, I'll change everything to 2, um, image container 2, 2, um, and then, yeah. Um, so I'll kind of just basically get all of this and just change it to two um, if I can find it so image container two model two 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 Two. Paste that. And I should probably tell this um, card two to go to modal two also. Really? <sighs> As if I have patience for this. Alright, it should go to modal two. And modal two should be here. Oh, it's because I never... Oh my god, sorry. Alright, over here. Model 2, model 2. Oh, it's because the model 2... Oh, I have the model up here, too. I have to copy this one also. And I also have to copy this stuff, too. Oops. Oh no, I did. I did copy it. I did dot modal to modal to content. Hover, hover. I probably forgot to change something. What did I forget to change? Um. Let's see, add to cart, modal 2. This is why you don't copy and paste code. Hmm. Okay, let's think what could be happening. Maybe if I go here and turn this off. Alright, reload that. I mean, it is popping up. So, this is an issue. Um, so, I think it just has to do with the targeting stuff. its own image tag. Alright, so... I don't even know. I generally don't even know. Oh! Because... 
Oh my god, I'm sorry, come on. It's supposed to be a class, a class is going to be changing. Um... So I don't need this. And I don't need this either. Actually, I do need this. Hold on. No, 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 no. This was, yeah, this is an ID, not a class. But it's still not working. It's literally the same thing. Does it have to do with the index? Like, literally, let me know right now. This one works, but this one doesn't. So let's see. When I, when modal 2 is targeted, the visibility becomes visible. Um, hidden. It's still there, though. Like, what? But this one's not popping up, though. And, you know, also for this um, card 2. Where's card 2? It should have the same properties here for the image container 2. So, let's see. Model content, model image container, card content, blah, blah, blah. Right, so this is all for the model. Visibility hidden. Position absolute, background, oh, that's probably why, mm, let me think, so do I do this instead? And that X is still there. Mm. Modal content. Oh, this is what I get for being lazy and not copying the code. And copying the code. Alright, so you know what I'll do. Are you kidding me? Yo, I am so confused. Why did it- Oh. My god, bro. <sighs> now I ruined everything. Why did it change for container 2? I literally called it a different thing, so I don't understand. I mean, it's there, but it's also not. So, can someone please tell me what's wrong here? Um, if I just remove this, you'll see that it's there. Like, oh, are you kidding me? This is so irritating. <sighs> it's not even there anymore. You know what? Let me just go all the way up here 
and delete all that and just go all the way up here delete all this Is this a joke? Bro, I'm so close to just crying right now. Like, what? What now? I had it, but like, you're just. This is a joke, right? I don't know what more this thing wants from me. It's literally not popping up anymore. When I say add to cart. Oh. Oh. Uh, oops. Literally. Bye. It should go to the model. Visibility visible when the X is targeted. This is like an actual joke right now. Yo, I am so confused. So it's working and it's like not like I'm so confused right now. Because it's not working here. What? Bro, I'm done. Like, I cannot do this anymore. We're going to leave it for today, and we're going to finish tomorrow, because I literally have school tomorrow, the last day of school. Um, It's the first time I've gone to school this week, because girl is done with school. She was like, mm -hmm. um, where is my stuff? I'm so lost right now. Okay, I, you know, I'm not even going to bother logging anything. I'm just going to do it tomorrow. I really need to sleep. Um, I will just put in the day, just so I remember. So it is day... Um, date 15, I don't even know what I did. Okay, I literally just said I wasn't going to log it right now, but I take it back, okay. So this is the result link, what the? This is a code link. Um, ugh, whatever. I don't even know. I don't feel like doing this. Um, just take a screenshot. Okay, download that. Take a screenshot. Download that. Not a PDF. Cover, change cover, clip this out, close that out, upload, choose an image. <sighs> Put that in there, add icon, should be the web icon. Day, delete that. Close that. I guess it was productive. I mean, I did get, I don't even know at this point. I did get it though, like, what a rude. Home, wait, this is not a home page. This is a um, card UI. It's absolutely not responsive. It's just a grid. Um, did I use Flexbox? I don't remember. I didn't use videos. Um, did I use a navigation bar? What did I do again? Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, modals. Alright, add image, choose an image, put that in there, and then I'm also going to do I am, choose an image, put that one in there, and that's it, okay? Let me just make sure that's, is it pretty? Alright, bye now.